you you made bad baby famous, right? That's like on not on watch. purpose either, but and, it was inevitable. Certain people have star quality. Jet ski. Let's yeah, let's oh. talk about it. To my right, there's a there's a star shining, and you can see it, and you understand it, and you want it to shine. Bad baby. No one had any intention of seeing her fly uh, up into the sky. And I apologize for rhyming so quickly, but I just. <laughs> I think that what she's doing is uh, impressive, mm -hmm. and it's uh, I stand by the choices she made. Yeah, she came on my show, and I'll be honest with you, Andrew and Bobby, when she first opened her mouth, I, all I could think in my head was, shut your fucking dumb mouth, you stinky twat. Whoa. Whoa. But then- That's a little aggressive, Dr. Phil. Oh, but then she spoke, and I go, I get it. You knew right away. Okay. No, I could tell. You could tell. Because the, the attitude was real, and the <laughs> character was relatable, kind of like Theo Vaughn. Mm. We'll blank. We'll, we'll blur that name. No, no, we don't have to blur that. <laughs> no, we'll just. How about we blank off the Theo and see if people can guess what Vaughn we're talking. I bet about. they will. Can we switch a little bit? I want to ask about your show real quick, please. May I? Yeah, please. You uh, guys were uh, guests and, and phenomenal. Appreciate you. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> a lot of times I see on your show you have people with phobias. Mm. What's the craziest phobia you saw on your show? Very good. Well, arachnophobia is a big one. It's fear of spider. spiders. Spiders. That's fear not, that's not really a big one. Yeah, yeah. I've seen like cucumbers. People well, are afraid of cucumbers. Well, let me finish. <laughs> In the Jewish community. Yeah. Mm, careful, Dr. Phil. I, I, when you see I've spiders. Done it all, wait, Andrew. when you say spiders, do you mean Hamas? Oh. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> well, now that we're here, yeah. Oh wow. So so let, let me just back that up okay. and put it in reverse. You could keep that in because it's I'm not saying Look, yeah. Oh, yeah, go on. oh yeah, no, we're keeping it in. My lawyer's already draft up a whole thing about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I the 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 biggest phobia I saw was the fear of public speaking. Okay, I get that, but the biggest fear, yeah, was <laughs> fear of sexual intimacy. Okay, and there, and and still we, not weird, but well, I've seen other shows. You'd seen people. Okay, okay. Let me finish with hermaphrodites. <laughs> oh, so hermaphrodite intimacy. Who's playing Coachella? I think. <laughs> no, no, second uh, night this year. Second, second night, night. Yeah. Yeah. doing the hologram thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, with, yeah. Tu with Tupac, uh, fear what? of fear of just sexual touching, uh. you know? and then fear of um, gas stations. You ever seen Strange Addiction on A and E? Yeah, uh -huh. where like a girl will be like, I can't start my day unless I eat a bar of soap, and you're like, Well, I feel bad for you, but also gross, gross. Yeah. yeah. So we just try to deal with it as it comes. Oh, but God, phobias are uh, everyone's got a phobia of something. Mm. What's your phobia, Phil? Well, ghosts who pop balloons, unexpected, big fear. Uh, um, I heard you say black people. Yeah, but that was a joke. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah. So What's your real fear? Dr. Phil, I want to break you down. What is genuinely the thing that, that, that shakes you? Mm. What really gets under your skin? You're playing a pickup game at 24 Hour Fitness. Mm. basketball yeah oh yeah and someone's uh you know talking a little bit too much shit and they can't back it up so you dig deep right you stretch a little bit extra uh -huh. and you uh you throw a couple bows you drop a little charles oakley on them mm -hmm. but sometimes that doesn't go your way and they ban you from that 24-hour fitness that's your fear well i'm getting to it Please my do. fear <laughs> is not being able to control my anger oh <laughs> okay against certain kinds of people. That's not what I'm saying. Well, it did sound like it. Well, okay, look, most of the pickup games are uh, featuring less than white characters. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Phil, you can just say I'm racist. Say that. I won't say it. <laughs> you won't? Okay. I won't say it because... <laughs> Oprah will be mad. Oh, I've been with everybody. And I think once you experience everybody, yeah. you get to know truly that this country is made up of a, of a cool species of people. Whoop. Uh -huh. <laughs> what I'm listening actively. Let me ask you. Uh, oh, I want to see if you were the real Doctor Phil. Um, there was a comedian that taught you how to play tennis. Yeah. Who was that comedian's name? Taught him? Is that true? Oh, yeah. Kirk Fox. Yeah. Want to see my Kirk Fox impression? Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. You do know him. Very good. Very good. You do know him. Well, we're all just doing it. <laughs> Eor took us. Took it again. Very good. What Mitchie wanted. Yeah. So, you know, but I don't do impressions 
actively. Yeah. Seems like you do. Yeah. But we, I taught Kirk tennis. He's got a good good forehand. <laughs> Backhand could use yeah. some work. Uh -huh. You taught him tennis. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought he taught you. know, he was uh, like a professional. Kirk's going not? around telling everybody that he taught me. <laughs> Let's, okay. Uh -huh. And I don't want to say I write a lot of his material because I don't, but oh. I have influenced yeah. some punchlines. Wow. You guys know what it's like when you're hanging out, busting balls. Someone says something funny and they go, you going to use that? You do that with him? I don't have to, but I do it. What's Dr. Phil's favorite meal? Swimming hmm. after breakfast. Because it challenges my body to step up. Uh -huh. Right. You but don't, bre breakfast. You don't have a great body, Dr. Phil. It's not where I want it to be, but 2024 is coming up, and I'm looking to, I don't know, get a stair stepper or a, a trainer or Ozempic. Oh, you're going to get on the Oz? Is that what the kids are calling it? That's yeah, and you should know that for your show. Yeah, I'd suck on Dorothy's titties. Was your friend, your friend? <laughs> well, I, I can take you down that yellow brick road. Your friend Oprah revealed she, uh, she was. I on saw Olympic. that. Yeah. What now? Is this why you got influenced to do it? Because the Big O did it? Well, I prepared a statement. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so Oprah, as you said, recently on the uh, on the Oz. Is that all written on one paper, or is this? A yeah, separate... I prepared a lot of statements. All right. All right. Uh, it's uh, size eight. Courier new. You're a courier new guy. <laughs> yeah, I look at you. I think I think wingdings all day. <laughs> now, which one is that again? Because it's been a minute since it's I've like, written a paper. It's all the simple. <laughs> no, that's okay. that's, that's, wing, that's a wing, great. That's wingdings. That's a. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Phil, get it together, bud. All right. So, a lot of heat is coming towards my pal Oprah. They go, "Hey, you were bigger, and now you're not. What'd you do?" Well, in her defense. You know, food has been an issue for uh, quite some time, as it has been for me as well. One night in particular, I think it was 1996, and I'd just uh, gotten some sort of an award, and we were getting a little stony baloney and dipping gushers into Cool Whip. I digress, but I think that that night told us a lot about ourselves, that we we have a sugar addiction, so leave her, leave, leave her the fuck alone. Wow. I'm glad you write this stuff down. Yeah. There we are toasting. I think that's when I, I think I just, I don't know, dyed my pubes or something. What did we? No, she was. To oh, that was when the uh, the book came out. I will say that's a very relatable thing to drink Cristal. I think most Americans. Oh, and want, that picture was not staged. I would say most Americans want to see you in a in Louboutin shoes, cheers and Cristal. You want to get back to your roots. You I want to relate so. to the people. You got to wear five thousand dollars shoes drinking. <laughs> Drinking two thousand dollar champagne. We're of the people, Doctor Phil. We're people, people. It's a good Oprah. We're people, people. Yeah, she says that a lot. We're people. <laughs> We're people. people, people. Well, I love the big O because she's Chicago. She represents my city. I love that. Now, was she going to an Oprah taping? Seems like almost like a Mad TV taping from the nineties. Energy. I style. was on that show. I know that's why I brought it up. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. let's not go back to it. Yeah, yeah, let's not bring it. Yeah, enough. A big. Fan, I went to but... Jerry Springer when I was in high school. Did you really? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. On Senior Ditch Day. Are you that's fucking kidding me? I swear to God, on Senior that's, Day, that's where we went. That's we went to Jerry Springer downtown. Um, and, a, he was you, a legend, and B, the audience must have been Banana City. <laughs> yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Keep it right here. No, uh, yeah, I went to Jerry Springer. And I just, I don't know why we haven't talked about this for my Senior Ditch Day. I didn't know that. It was fucking the most fun I think I've ever had. Was there violence that day? You, I bet you can guess the category of what it was that day. Baby's mama. Baby's mama was the first one. What do you think the second one was? Animal attack videos. No, but, no, that's, no, no. but that's very good. I wish we got an animal. Yeah, yeah. So baby's mama, and then um, who's the daddy? Rebe who's the daddy? Was oh, who's the daddy? So the category was called the baby mama. That was the first one. Yeah. What's the second one called? Um, was it rebellious kid? Mm. No, not rebellious teen. Yeah, was I like, was that's it. a good guess. Favorites. That's those a are very my favorite guess. Those are great when they get uh, scared straight. You yeah, see yeah. the one where the guy's like, "You sh fuck you," and then the kid's like. He's like, what? Where's your dad? And he's like, oh, I mean, yeah. and then he's like, oh, you want me to be your dad? And then the kid's like, <laughs> I've never seen that one. Oh, it's fucking sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like it when the kids though double down. Yeah. I love that. You know what I mean? Fuck you, bitch. Yeah, I love, I love that. that. You know, you got to go. You don't tell camp. me what to Did do. You? And then they never get kicked out of the house. They yeah. win. And then I love it. Then sometimes they send them to Scared Straight. Remember that TV show? Yeah. Where oh. they put them in a prison. They, they... I didn't went to one. You went to Scared Whoa. Straight? No, mine was in the forest. Are you serious? Scared gay? What was that? <laughs> no, no, no. Mine was. Um... Come here behind this tree. No, mine was. You have to walk from Mammoth to Yosemite and back. 
You did not do that. I did. You did There's not. No do way that. you completed that task. I did. You <laughs> walked from. It was twelve to... rebellious kids. I did it. My I, I did it. Uh, my junior uh, sophomore year in high school. You walked from Mammoth. It not in a day. Like it took weeks and weeks. Where did you stay at night? <laughs> in a tent. You did this. Yes. How the fuck have we never talked about this? <laughs> Why? Is that something I want to talk about? I want to talk yeah, about. It. I was always the last guy. I remember going. Catch up, Lee. Dude, that entire walk would take, how long does it say? 14 hours. 14 fu fucking hours. Did you yeah, sleep? It took weeks. Huh? What, did you guys go we like- went there and back. Would you do a mile a day? <laughs> <Yeah>. No, <laughs> we would camp, and then he would talk, talk, talk to us about rocks. Five okay, minutes. this sounds made up. Did, no, you, no, no, did, no, you, learn, did you learn anything? No, it but I remember- It doesn't sound like it. But did, I did, but I won the talent show. What was the talent? I sang a song called Edie Amin. Sing it right now. I don't remember the song, but I made up a song. I go, Edie, you mean, dun, 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 dun. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. That's Are you great. serious? Yeah, and all the guys were like, yeah. We, and no that, one knew who Edie mean. We, that I didn't even one, know who he was. That one. They won it. Did no one else do anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you, dude. No, I mean, that's. Fuck you, You're man. very talented. That, fuck you, That's dude. not it. Yes, it is it. No, that's not good. I performed it. Somebody I must have like done this, something. Edie, you mean. I went out there and I did it, dude. <laughs> did you give a pube shot? No, That'd back then you couldn't do that. <laughs> Why? It was against the rules. But you walk from your. And I remember jumping in a lake through on a cliff. What lake? I don't remember. Well, I'll zoom in. There's one right there. I mean, I'm. And I, I, I'm going to say this too. <laughs> I have crazy. photos to prove it at home. Got I want, next Grant week lake. you're bringing them yeah, in. I will. For I the have show. photos to prove it. What that lake? lake? Grant Lake would have been the one he passed. Grant yeah. Lake, yeah. you jumped in. Yeah. How was it? I remember it being cold, but I remember doing it, and I remember being proud of myself. Did nobody else do it? Everyone did it. Dude, we were all meth kids. Right. Wow. So, so the, the so, great meth hike from Yosemite. <laughs> yeah. 